All right, boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly, animatorsforum.com, as well as Real Illusion Forum. I'm, I'm making this video mostly to correct a um, something that I may be doing or telling, have told you guys that's wrong, and I don't want now to mislead you anymore, hopefully. <laughs> and... Uh, or, or maybe something changed, but anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something. This is um, a dad's character. This is Mr. Wu, Mr. Wu. I like Mr. Wu. He's kind of a wizened old Chinese fellow, I guess, and uh, I'm kind of a wizened old white guy. So, uh, in the past, when we exported this character, we're gonna bring this in through Character Creator Three. When we exported this character, uh, what we would do is to uh, export. Let's call it Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu, what we would do is we would collect the textures to the folder. That's why I always recommend it doing. Uh, that's wrong. <laughs> and I don't know if that's if that's just become wrong or that's something that they changed in Character Creator 3. But in any case, doing this is a bad thing. If you do this, you will only get the diffuse character uh, colors in. I'm going to show you it both ways. We're going to export it this way. Uh, because I want you to see it not working as well as working. It's always instructive to see it both ways. So now I'm going to export him again. Uh, we don't need to see my folders uh, coming up with that. We're going to call it uh, Mr. W. So Mr. W is going to have us not collecting the textures. So Mr. Wu, we collected the textures, and Mr. W, we, we don't. So uh, we'll do that. And... Uh, we'll export it both ways. And while that's exporting now, we're going to go to Character Creator, and we're going to go to Transformer, and we're going to go to Mr. Wu. First of all, you'll notice that when we exported it with textures, it created this folder called Mr. Wu Textures. Uh, this is what Daz does. Don't make, make no mistake about it. This is a, something that happens from Daz. If we go and actually look at that folder, if we go to Exports and look at that folder, here's that Mr. Wu Images folder you'll see that all it has is the diffuse images. Daz doesn't export anything other than the diffuse images. Uh, so what we need, what we're missing is the roughness and the bump maps. If there was any metallic, you won't, you won't have a metallic as a rule for uh, an avatar unless he's very weird. Or maybe a robot or something, I suppose. Um, but, uh, but none of those maps are here. So when we go ahead and import Mr. Wu, it's going to look in this folder for the textures. So we go here. Remember always when we're doing an import, if we do basic, it won't bring in the textures. It'll only use the default character creator textures. So we have to go to advanced to get it to load textures in. And then we always go bake body texture, and that will go ahead and load those textures in. So you have to check mark this, and then you decide what size you want it. I always use 1024 just because, you know, you really can't get any higher resolution. I'm not making 4K video and never will. So, uh, but you can use a higher res if you want. So it'll take a while. It's getting all those textures. But what it's doing, just to be clear, is it's going to gather those textures just from that folder that got written out and not include all the textures that came with this character. So... Uh, we'll let it do its thing here, and maybe I'll edit this video so you don't have to wait. Okay, and we're back. And you'll notice that it loaded in the diffuse texture. It's a really nice diffuse texture, but it doesn't have that bump texture to it. And the problem with not having the bump is you just don't get all the details that you want. Those aren't there. Uh, neither is any roughness maps loaded in. So, so what do we do? So let's go back, and we're going to load in now Mr. W. Remember, Mr. W doesn't have a folder written out. So it doesn't have those diffuse textures. So what's going to happen is, because it doesn't have that particular folder written out, it's going to look in the actual creation folder for Daz and actually find all the real textures that are located there, which is really what we want it to do. So uh, check marking uh, write the folder out is not a good thing to do, uh, at least for Character Creator as it exists now. So we're not going to save that. I'm going, and once again, we always choose advanced when you want to get textures for the avatar, not for clothing textures. You don't need to choose advanced, but only avatar. And so we're going to do this. And now I'll come back once this is finished. Okay, we're back. All right, now, a <laughs> couple things first. Uh, first of all, don't, don't worry about the shininess. We're going to talk about that in a second. But I want you to notice that the bump maps 
and the roughness maps now have come in on this character correctly. So let's just be clear about this to, to make sure you understand what happened. We don't want to write out the folders. In, in DAS, we don't want to write the folders out because if we do that, we're only going to get the diffuse folders. We'll miss our bump maps and our, and our roughness maps. Now, what do we do about this? Well, this is definitely a bug. It used to handle these roughness maps correctly. What you have to do on all these roughness maps is you have to invert them. So we go here to adjust color and we want to go to invert. And invert basically takes the map and then you want to turn the brightness up maybe a little bit just to get a little bit of, see, so kind of get a little, a little bit of glow on that character just so his skin looks alive. So the same thing on all of these things. We're going to invert this. And this actually used to be done correctly uh, by, by the program. And now it's not doing it anymore. So hopefully they'll fix this. I've reported this as a bug, but you know, half the time you can't get them to, to do anything for a long time. So, so we'll, we'll hopefully they'll fix, fix it. It doesn't take but a few moments to take care of the texture yourself. And there we go. We have all the bump maps. We have all the stuff correctly applied. And there's... And there's Mr. Uh, Mr. Wu and all his glory. Now, I want to show you one more thing for those of you that are beginners out here. Uh, we did get the maps in correctly. And some people who don't understand what's happening in here said, well, you know, if I want the maps here, I'll just drag and drop them over from the map folders. So, uh, in other words, I'll go to, um, to this folder. And in, if this was the full folder and had all the maps, I'll just take this map and drop it here. Here's the Wu face map and drop it here. Well, I first of all, I hope you can see that this map here doesn't look like this map. In other words, if I go to this map and we, um, let's see if, yeah, there you go. You see how big that is there? See how the face is in the middle there and there's all that stuff there? If I go back to this, you'll see that this, this isn't there. This doesn't match up to that. When, what, what Character Creator does when it does a transformer is it remaps these images to match up with the Character Creator 3 um, map types. So you can't just drag and drop maps. That's why you have to go through this process of doing it. If you look at the arm, I think you can see here's those arms out this way, and these arms here are even going in the opposite direction. So if I tried to load these maps and just drag and drop them in here, it would be a disaster. And I can show you just for the head. We can, we can take the head and I can just drag and drop this map over here. Oh, that'll work just fine, you know, because I've got this map here. Uh, well, it's kind of hard to tell because we have bump maps and everything over there. So it's, it's actually hard to tell that that's screwed up. But, oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. There, now it's really easy to tell. Okay, there you go. So that's, obviously, that didn't work. <laughs> so, uh, so now we'll do a... Uh, uh, control Z and get it back to uh, to where we were in the first place. So anyway, that's that shows you that you can't just drag and drop the maps over. You you have to you have to do the the proper procedure uh, of running through the remapping process, and it does take a while. But when you're done, you got you know you got a great looking character, great looking maps. They have all the the uh, you know the maps in there for their character. So hopefully this answers a few questions of those of you that are beginners on this, and uh, if not. Let me know in the, in the comments. I'll be glad to help out any way I can. We'll see you around the forums.